drop my water. I almost spilled my water. Okay, this is going to be a general reading for the sign of Taurus. So the top three this month were Taurus, Sagittarius, and Aquarius. So they're going to go in that order. So I have my Light Seer's Tarot. And I have my Rider Waite. And I have this deck for your spirit message. We are just going to draw, dive right in Taurus. I hope you all are having a beautiful May and a beautiful Beltane. All right, what do we got for Taurus? I missed you all. If you are a past subscriber, welcome back. Toys on the couch. Um, if you are a new subscriber, then whenever you find this reading, it's for you. All of my readings are timeless. It's a bit hot in here. Usually in the day I have the fans on, but it's nighttime, so I don't want them on. I want you guys to be able to hear me. Okay, so. All right, what do we got for Taurus? Let's start with my light series. And I programmed this deck for love the past couple days. So it has been chilling, chilling, chilling with two giant rose quartz on it. So I feel a little flushed. It's a little bit hot in here. I'm going to sweat. Okay, what do we got for Taurus? Start out with four cards, please, Spirit. Woo! Oh. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> what you got going on, Taurus? Move this camera back a bit, too. I can see that. It's a little duck. It's a duck. This humidity is not good for wavy hair. Look at this, guys. Whoo, let me tell you. All right, so we got a hanged man and we got a tower. First, there was no movement. Now there's a lot of movement. I don't know why, but there is. Well, it's because you're shifting your energy by giving love to someone. Very nice. But you're not sure if you want to put in the effort to keep this love going. It's the vibe I'm getting. Hmm. Very strange. Maybe you feel like you're giving too much and this person is not giving enough. All right, so let's keep going. Can we get three more cards for Taurus, please? Ooh. And there's a lot going on hidden beneath the surface of your emotions, Taurus, right? Hiding a lot of things. What's up, baby, the top? Okay, speaking of Taurus, there's my Taurus. <laughs> Ooh, okay, you definitely want to keep this connection going. I see a two of cups. All right, one second, Taurus. Okay, sorry about that, Taurus. I had a child wake up. Okay, so we have the Haynes Band, we have the Tower, Six of Pentacles, Seven of Wands, Knight of Swords, the Moon, Page of Swords. Oh, I was like, what's that noise? <laughs> okay, I'm going to get some more cards out. Y'all might be a little impatient, but this reading is going to be a good one. I can feel it. So I'm going to get, I'm going to get, I think I'm going to get six more cards out. <clears throat> I also want to see if we have any repeating cards. Okay. What do we got for Taurus? I do, okay, so first there was this feeling of not knowing if you guys wanted to keep this connection going because there was a feeling of like not being sure. Either one of you, either you or your partner are holding on to a lot of emotions. You're not letting them out. You're keeping them inside. You are or your partner is. <clears throat> and so it's causing a lot of Um, feelings of, you know, being unsure. 
So either you or your partner is feeling very unsure about this connection. Um, let's see. Two more, please, sir. But I feel like, oh, that one just hit the floor. Two more, please. Wow. We, this is definitely a really strong connection, Taurus. We got counterparts. So we got King of Pentacles and Queen of Pentacles. Okay. This, hold on. There's a side energy card. Oh my gosh. Okay. So the side energy card is a 10 of swords. All right. So there's a lot going on. Let me read these cards. Okay. So first off, there's this feeling of... You were unsure. You or your partner were completely unsure about this connection. This <laughs> trying to move the toys off the couch. We cover the couches at night so the cats don't jump on them. And they have their own little window perches and beds. So okay, so this energy of nothing happening, um, everything at a standstill, trying to decide: Do I want to keep this connection going? Is it worth it? The, you know. Maybe there's a reason, like there's something going on in the connection or outside of the connection, outside influences that are causing, that were causing this period of like, I don't know if I want to continue with this. And I feel like for one, it was because either one or both of you were keeping your feelings hidden. Look, all of this lurking underneath the surface, needing to come to the surface, right? Right. But then something happened. There was a moment, a tower moment, and everything came bubbling to the surface, okay? It feels like the give and take was off. Like, you know, one was giving way too much, another one wasn't giving enough. And, you know, even though one of you, you or your person were trying to hold on to the connection. I see you fighting for the connection. Seven of Wands is, shows me that you were definitely fighting for the connection. Yet, there was still this feeling of not being sure. You took some time to like really um, look at you and your person's connection. Maybe you were studying them. They were studying you. Someone was definitely studying this connection and studying their person. Like this is my card of like watching, studying, learning about your person. Maybe you were learning about yourself, but it feels like you were doing spying. Either you were doing spying or your person was doing spying. And I don't know what happened during this whole tower moment, but there's two energies of towers. Look at this. We got tower moment. We got hitting rock bottom. And now all of a sudden, the energy shifted. The wheel turned and it was just like, bam. And something shifted. And there was a few epiphanies. Look at this. Like, breakthrough change in perspective and all of a sudden you're running towards this connection Taurus it's just like bam I know what I want I'm heading towards it and you're doing a good job of heading towards it because look at this we got two of cups this is a really deep connection we got two of cups we got king of pentacles which by the way is Taurus energy and we got queen of pentacles you guys are made for each other. If there was any doubt in your mind about this connection, there shouldn't be. Sorry about any background noise. There's your happily ever after. The Two of Cups shows me this is a really strong connection. And I don't know what changed your mindset, but it definitely did. You know what? It feels, honestly, though, there's this, this card here which shows me that there's a lot of joy in this connection. There also could have been a third party person. And now don't freak out. It doesn't necessarily mean that, you know, there was cheating or anything like that. By third party, it was someone who was influencing your guys' connection. It could have been their family, um, an ex, you know. Um, I don't see that this is someone that was in their future right now. But it could have been someone from the past. It, like I said, it could have been even family members that was trying to influence you to walk away from this connection. But your mind is made up and you've decided you're going to move towards this connection. I see it moving very quickly. You know, whatever happened, this tower moment, 
whatever it was, it changed your mind. It made you see things more clearly. The sword of truth shows me something happened that totally changed your perspective. And then you realize that this person was the one that you wanted to move towards. Okay. Now this card right here, this card right here, and this card right here shows me that you might have been on the fence. You might have been holding back. You might have been using your brain, a lot of logic. You were hiding a lot of things. You know, you weren't really showing your truth. Either you or your partner. But this honestly feels like, you know, both of your energy, Taurus, but more your energy. So because this, look, divine masculine energy in their head, not really wanting to show these deep feelings that they have for this person and yet now it's all going to come out to the surface I feel like and it's because <clears throat> of this deep deep soul connection wowzers oh man <clears throat> all right let's let's get some final outcome cards here and then uh whew. We're going to do your spirit message. Her reading was quick, I feel like, but. <laughs> All right, so let's get some final outcome cards for Taurus. Figure out what's going to happen. Let's get some final outcome cards. Let's do three final outcome cards. You know what? I really like just focusing on the tarot because I feel like I get more messages from the tarot. That's why I'm not really going to like romance angels or whatever. Let's do three final outcome cards for Taurus, please. Nine of Cups told you this person is your happily ever after. They're your wish fulfillment. You've worked on manifesting them. And as if I need confirmation, look, we got Nine of Cups. There's that joy. There's that happy ever after. There's the wish fulfillment. There's your, I've manifested this person. They are my treasure. And look what came out next. The freaking sun. I told you. You have manifested this person. So they are your wish come true, Taurus. Oh my gosh. I'm going to call your reading here comes the sun, just like that Beatles song. And then we got Page of Swords again. So, you know what? It feels like communication. It also feels like one more card. It also feels, thank you, Spirit. Thank you for allowing me to be the clearest channel for source messages. I love seeing a lot of love. Okay, so there it is. We got Page of Swords. There's the two birds represent communication. All of that studying that you did led you to this moment you know that this person is your wish fulfillment you know that they're your dream come true right they're your dream girl dream guy whatever okay so this energy seven of swords of sort of lying to yourself manipulating yourself trying to like push all your feelings to the side and not being honest with yourself or you know not being honest with your person of, about how you feel you know it's in the past <laughs> let me look on the bottom of the deck knight of pentacles see moving towards your person so it's funny because like this energy is like a really slow sort of movement forward but if you were in that slow movement forward before you know now it's knight of swords mode it's like full force ahead because you know what you want towards <laughs> Definitely get this feeling of now I know what I want. All right. Um, apologize for any background noise. All right. So we are going to do your spirit message and we're going to call this a reading. I'm going to keep these all really short and sweet. Because y'all seem to like the shorter videos, I suppose. And then, you know, I'll keep the longer ones for like the all signs reads. Okay. All right. Oh, this humidity is, is just... Let's make my hair do crazy things that I'm sweating. May. Woo. All right. Can we get the final spirit message for Taurus, please? Thank you, spirit. This has been a beautiful reading. Short but sweet and right to the point. Oh, Taurus. 
Congratulations. You have achieved your happily ever after. It's about time, huh? Y'all have had some drama, drama, drama. Ooh, and get ready for some wild ass sex. Look at this. Number 15. I, sh I don't have my light on today, guys. So you guys can see the cards really well. But I think you can see okay with this lighting. Just, um, I didn't have a lot of time to set up. 15. Wild. Ooh, this is about releasing your inhibitions allowing yourself to get wild Taurus get down in the dirt you know like let that Taurus wild bull nature come out like let it out let it out oh my god let me read this and see if there's anything else I need to tell you about this but I got this card recently so there is a wild untamed spirit inside of you desperate to be unleashed free it and claim the gifts of energy power passion and creativity it offers you yes through suppressing your wild succulent outrageous and untamed self you dull your senses and crush your creativity you shrink lose your energy and become depressed your relationships suffer and your rage grows you become ashamed hostile cold boring over serious and scared you stop taking chances and live in mediocrity constantly trying to protect yourself the truth is that no one can judge you punish you or hurt you as much as you can this is true Taurus give in to your wildness and stop living a sham this part of you is sensual provocative truthful courageous bold passionate and alive set it free set it free Taurus set it free set it free claim what you want claim your person claim what you want do not be afraid don't let yourself hold yourself back you because at the end of the day you are the only one holding yourself back take that chance take that wild leap of faith and release that um wild inner being my beautiful Tauruses okay so if you guys wonder why I do my readings like this, it's because I like to feel like you guys are connecting with me. I want you to look at me and feel like I'm talking directly to you, like I'm right here in front of you so you can see my face, so you guys can understand that I'm talking to you. I want to connect directly to your energy. I want you to feel seen. I want you to feel loved. I want you to feel cherished. Okay, so that is why I do my readings like this. That is why I choose to show my face. All right, for me, it's about the connection and connecting to your heart space and for you to connect to my heart space. I love you, Taurus. Um, check out my Patreon. I do sexual energy reads and I'm going to be doing yours right after this, Taurus. Um, for those of you that have joined me on my Patreon already, I love you guys so very fiercely. Thank you so much. Thank you for all your sh um, subscriptions, your shares, and your likes. Every time you like my channel, it helps me and it is the least that you can do. You don't even have to, you know, tip me. I do have two ways for you to tip me. That is always in my description box below. So if you guys want to do that, and for those of you that have already, oh my gosh, I have to say thank you. Um, someone just recently sent me a, a generous tip and you know who you are. Um, I don't know, like I, I always feel uncomfortable like thanking you guys. Um, because I don't know if you guys want me to thank you or I don't I don't know if you're embarrassed or whatever. But if you recently tipped me, you know who you are. I appreciate you so, so, so much. You guys, I'm grateful for you because you guys are my support system. You're literally my bread and butter. Like this is what I do. This is my only job. And so this is what I do, you know. Um, it is a way, as a way for me to share my gift, you know, for free and yet and and, and receive back like. I give, I receive, you give, and, and you receive. You know what I'm saying? It's reciprocated energy exchange. If you want to purchase a reading from me, you can do that as well. If you click this little arrow underneath um, my videos, it pops up my description box, and that's all my prices. It's also got my Patreon link, um, and it has the two ways that you can tip me. Just keep scrolling down. Please, um, if you feel so guided to, check out my Etsy shop. I'm going to have more stuff. You guys... I'm, I'm sorry. I'm so excited. I have so many new things that I have plans um, that are coming in that are going to be released into my Etsy shop. Um, it's all in the making. They're all going to be there by the end of June. I'm working really hard to get new stuff out for you guys. 
I might be posting some uh, discounted readings on there. Uh, let's see what else. If you feel so guided to check out my son's channel, please do that. It's a way to support me and him as well. Um, if you share the video, then, you know, that's also a free way that you guys can support me. And by liking my videos, you let YouTube know that you like it. And then they share my videos with other people, which helps me to grow my channel. So that's a free way that you guys can support me. You know, if right now you're having a lull in your abundance or whatever, that's totally cool. I understand because I've been there, you know. Um, let's see what else. Also, if you guys want to be the top three videos to go first and have your sign be read first, share this with all of your Taurus friends. Okay, share the videos. Then you guys, you know, because the channels, the, I'm sorry, the sign that gets the most views gets to go first. So that's why Taurus is first because Taurus had the most views. All right, I'm done. Taurus, I love you so much. Okay, congratulations. It looks like a lot of you are going to be going into union. All right, bye, Taurus. Mwah.